Hi, I'm Jeff Schroeder. And I'm Jordan Lloyd. We met and fell in love on the TV series Big Brother. After three years of dating, we decided to take the next step and move to Los Angeles. We're taking Route 66 from Chicago to Los Angeles. We don't know how it's going to end up, but we're definitely going to enjoy the ride. Could you be a little happier? No, you make me mad. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Last time on Jeff and Jordan Do America, Jordan surprised me with an amazing trip to the Grand Canyon, and today we're back on the road to our final destination, a new home in Los Angeles, California. All right, love, so for the last stop, we're going to this place that you're really gonna like. It's this place called Steen's, it's on Route 66, it's been around for like over 30 years, and it's like the best food that you love. Fried chicken, mac and cheese, all like your, all your little southern fried foods that you love. I asked the chef there, Ruby, to hook Jordan up with some cooking lessons. Jordan, I heard somebody don't know how to cook. I don't. <laughs> You're kidding me. Girl, how you gonna keep this fine man if you don't know how to cook? That's right. <laughs> well, you come on back here and I'm gonna show you what to do. Okay. Keep your man happy and full. And I thought maybe she could get a couple tips from a world famous chef and especially in Southern cooking, because Jordan might get a little homesick, and I figured, you know, maybe make a little comfort meal for herself, so I thought Ruby would show us the way. The best part of your day is breakfast. And okay. so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stuff him real good with some chicken and waffles. This is breakfast? This is breakfast. Okay. Wow. I got this um, recipe that I got from my mother from deep in the South, Mississippi, and we were raised on this fried chicken. We went there for the chicken and waffles. She makes famous chicken and waffles, and I've personally never tried chicken and waffles. Should she get in there? Should she help you out in yeah, there? Yeah, sure. Come on, let's get in there. Roll up get those in sleeves. There, Jordan. Jeff. <laughs> what better way to learn, right? That's right. Ruby let Jordan get hands on a little bit. She had to get her hands dirty in the chicken, which you were making gross faces, but that's what cooking is. So I'm glad Ruby showed her a couple of tips. You remember the spices? The chicken felt weird. It was, I uh, know, it was just slimy and gross, so that's why I was making weird faces. Well, you're making good progress then. I'm becoming a chef. <laughs> Taste it and see what you think. Tell me what you think. I want a bite of this and then a bite of that. Ready? Don't they just marry all together? They do. Tastes good, huh? Ruby's chicken and waffles are to die for. The taste, when it marinates in your mouth, is amazing. I tell you, girl, if you cook like this for him every night, he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere, I tell you. That's a true story. That's a true story. She said, as long as you keep him full, you're always going to have a man or something like that. <laughs> Good advice. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> something like that. The way through a man's heart is through? His stomach. See, she learned something today. I don't think it's sinking in that like you're gonna live here. I don't think it is either. I feel like I'm leaving in a couple days and going back home. I have to feel like I'm going stir crazy. I know. We've been in this car for so long. Now here comes the traffic. Five o'clock, you better get used to this too. Oh, I can't wait to put my feet in the water and be on the sand and. It was a long journey, huh? Oh my goodness, it was. This is home. I know, it doesn't feel like it. it hasn't hit me yet. It hasn't sunk in with me. I think I was so preoccupied with the trip and everything going on and finishing up this adventure that, you know, the new one hasn't even begun yet, but. Now it's reality. It's not official until we touch our toes in the sand. Okay. Was it Beautiful. worth it? It was. Oh. It's official. Oh, that is cold. Good job. This whole trip has been an amazing journey. It's been so much fun. I really enjoyed spending time with Jeff. We did a lot of things that we probably wouldn't normally do. So what was your favorite part of the trip all together? Honestly, was Oklahoma. That was something that we would never, ever do. Not the fact that you got hurt, but the fact that we both like had enough courage to get on the bull and ride it. That was probably one of the craziest things I've ever done yeah. in my life. My second best thing is the Grand Canyon. That was incredible. That was probably the most beautiful like scenery, but then the bull was more adventure action. It's good to be home and this is our home now 
and I think the adventures are just beginning. So what's next? I have no idea. Me neither. <laughs> Cheers.